Vision Pro Will here. I figured I'd become a real YouTuber. All the tech YouTubers, all they do is do geek bench benchmarks. So I'm about to do a geek bench benchmark because that's obviously what professionals do. I already have it running over here. I'm, I'm a little bit, I've already done some prep work. The specs on this machine is the M1 Ultra with 64 gigabytes of RAM and two terabytes of SSD space. I also have a M1 iPad Pro 13 inch, 12.9, I'm gonna call it 13. And I also have an M1 Max. So I'm looking at the Mac Studio. I can't read this. <laughs> I can barely read it. Uh, that's 2178 on the single, yeah, single core and 16129 on multi-core for the multi-core score. This was February 7th. And it says here this, uh, man, I, I can barely read that. Is that Mac 13.2 maybe? Yeah, and it has all of my details here, right? Cool. So. We see here that we have a baseline of 2178. So let's see what the Vision Pro can do, which has an M2 chip in it. So we'll do, let's do CPU benchmark. Run CPU benchmark. And hopefully this doesn't take forever. It took forever on here. It had been running on the M1 Max for a while. So because this, this can potentially take a long time, I'm gonna go ahead and go over there. All right, here we are. We have CPU and run CPU benchmark. It's a little bit harder than you think to read this. Everyone's saying that the pastor on this thing is good. That's cap. The pastor on this thing is trash. All I see is noise. That's, all, that's what I see right now. I see noise and blurriness and lack of sharpness. Uh, I see wrong colors. It's not great. That being said, you know, what, what can we do? All right, let me get some, some camera footage at least of of this i'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on the vision pro i can barely see what it says so uh, i don't have much hope that you all will be able to see it but anyway this is the macbook pro with the uh with m1 max 64 gigabytes mostly curious to see how it compares to my computer all right let's see how we are on this right here still going yeah yeah we're still going there let's see how we're doing on the vision we're still going at three minutes. Let me move this to somewhere else. Let's just put this right here. And we'll put it right there so I can kind of look at it. So we have 2178. That's the score that I hope that this thing can beat because you know, this is uh, apparently this is M2. It's supposed to be better than M1, right? I don't really have that high hopes though. <laughs> All right, we're at HDR here. Okay, look at that. So M2 Vision Pro. We get 2409 and a multi-core score of 7584. And that's compared to, oh my gosh. So the single core is much faster, wow. Yeah, that's actually impressive. That's, uh, what's that, 10? 10, 20% faster almost? It's between 10 and 20%, maybe 15%. And the multi-core score is, you know, god awful, but it makes sense, right? This is an M1 Ultra. Let's see how the M1 Max fared. All right, so the M1 Max, we got a 2440. Ah, look at that. Look at that. We get a 2440. I don't know if the Vision Pro is going to be able to capture that, so I'm taking it with the camera, too. And a multi-core of 12692. I don't know what that means to anyone, but if, you, uh, if you're someone who runs benchmarks for work, well, now you know that the Vision Pro is almost as fast. Actually, no, you will know that the Vision Pro is faster than an M1, uh, M1 Max Ultra, whatever the hell this is. The M1 Ultra, I hate this naming convention. I, I just want to say that on a, on a side note. Let me, try to get, let me try to get this conclusion right. The Vision Pro single core score beats my M1 Ultra single core score by about 10 to 20%. However, my single core score on my M1 Max laptop is about the same, it's 2440. So I'm gonna call that within margin there. So at this point, I wanna know why is this so low? Is it because I'm actually doing work? You know, I'm not just doing benchmarks, is it, is it that? I wonder when people are running these benchmarks, like are they just running benchmarks and not doing anything? I don't, I, I can't do that. I can only run benchmarks while doing other things. As you can see in my little bar right here, 
there's all kinds of apps running. There's a lot of daemons that are running in the background. I have uh, database servers running, uh, Docker stuff running. Obviously, I have you know my this setup like all of that running, and I have all of these monitors <laughs> being driven by my my studio. All right. So and then all these inputs are full, you know. And most of the inputs back there are full. Actually, all of the inputs in the back of that are full, and one is full right here. So maybe my single core score on the M1 is not so bad. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this. We now have a useless metric. My Vision Pro is faster than my M1 Ultra Max Studio. That's going to be the title of this, by the way. I'm learning, y'all. I'm learning. <laughs>